Hi, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. And today we're going to be talking about when the record industry is going to bottom out. Here we go. All right, so this is an article that we found on uh, Billboard.com, and basically it's predicting that the record industry is going to pretty much reach its all-time low in the in about four years, about 2019, and uh, I guess about four and a half years, and um, which is uh, I can kind of see that happening. I was I can actually kind of see it happening uh, a lot sooner than that, actually. Uh, because basically people aren't buying records anymore. They're, I mean, there's a, the, the vinyl community is pretty big, but it's still a, a very much a niche thing. And, it's, and people aren't really buying CDs. They're more either downloading through iTunes or they're um, just streaming it on, on like Spotify or RDO or other places like that. And so <clears throat> it's... It, it's kind of a good thing in a way because I think it's going to allow for uh, artists who actually care about their music are going to have more opportunities. But it's also uh, kind of a bad way because uh, as much as you hate the top 40 people, they are really the ones that are funding the record industry that allow the people, the subsidiaries of the uh, big record labels to allow more um, independent artists to to do what they want. So it might be kind of a if uh, they don't get it, nobody gets it kind of situation. It could be. It yeah. could be. But it it could also open up. It could become a free market of of. Uh, that could be good, but that know. also means it can be quite tough going because yeah. there's nothing out there for them then. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's generally good for the art, not good for the artists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And not good for the business either. Yeah. Um, because whether you like it or not, you, the business needs to be there. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great that you want to make really good music, but you still, you know, you still have to eat. And you still have to put a roof over your head. Mm -hmm. so, um, Pay for gas. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this also ties in with another thing that's going on in Canada. Basically what's happening is... Uh, they just passed um, a law, or it's not really a law, but it's, uh, I don't know what you call it. Legislation. Or legislation. Yeah, it works. That um, because of these new music streaming uh, services, that the royalty rate that, that um, Canadians are, Canadian artists are getting based on uh, their whatever music they've made is really low. It's probably the lowest in Canadian hi history. I think it is um, the lowest in Canadian history, and it's lower than many other places in the world. It's ridiculously yeah. low. Yeah. Like how they compared it is they took, uh, um, uh, sorry, the Bare the Bare Naked Ladies hit song, at least hit song in Canada. Um, if I had a million dollars. Yeah. And then broke it down into the different segments of the song yeah. and say how much how how much how many times would a song have to be played on the radio before they could afford such and such a thing and the, yeah. and the basic the basic one that they did was a box of craft dinner which is like it's here like in canada macaroni it's, and it's cheese. macaroni and cheese but it comes yeah. in a box it's blue and it's about yay big and yeah and, and uh, oh, it was, it it was the song like would 9, have nine thousand yeah, times to for one box of craft for one, dinner. yeah, and a box of craft dinner is what like two bucks, something, something like that. Like. So it's really it's it's not good. It's it's like pennies yeah. what they're making. No, it's per fractions play. of pennies. So it's it's um, it's like the other thing too though is is artists make most of their money playing live, um, which is I don't think that's ever gonna go away because I don't think people are ever gonna not want to see a band live. Um, there are people out there who are not interested in seeing a band live, but they're out there anyway. Well, yeah, but there, there, there have always been people like that. Yeah, you know, um, I don't think the concert, the live music is uh, business is hurting that much. I mean, you still get bands, um, you still get relatively big bands playing all over the place. Uh, you know, and uh, like you have mid-level bands are making pretty good money touring most of the year, so it's really. Uh, it, it it sucks for the artists that they're not getting enough money um, for the plays that they're getting, but they're still like making a decent living playing live. But there <sighs> depends are depends still... on the band. Like when you get into like uh, 
smaller bands, it's really tough going. Yeah. It's really tough to make a, a living being a touring artist, yeah. touring musician. Yeah. If you're, if, if you've actually made it in, to a certain point and you've got radio play and whatnot, mm-hmm. then you're generally going to be fine. Yeah. But. Yeah. I mean, if I were a Canadian artist right now and I was looking for a record deal because of this, uh, this, this rose you rate, um, I might be inclined to go to the States and look for a record deal there because I mean, it's, it's not, it just, it's starting to become not even worth releasing <laughs> it's your music be like in Canada. what they did in, in the 60s like yeah. half, half the Yorkville bands would go off to California that's what Neil Young did yeah that's so what... um so if you want Canadian music to stay in Canada uh you really want um you know you want the uh, you want to to make it fair um and and I don't know about the, the it, you know, like I said, if I were a Canadian artist releasing my record now, I might want to go to the States. But if this prediction is right, that the music industry is going to bottom out in four years, it's not even <laughs> worth it to do it then. So what other options do you have? You can go on the internet, release your stuff on Bandcamp, and hope enough people uh, find your stuff and, and, and find download it. Find it interesting it and, enough. To, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's hard to say what's going to happen. I don't think the top tier uh huge artists are going to be around for much longer like the Katy perry's and and the the britney spears of of the music industry they're the people like that i don't think are going to be around for that much longer but or it could go the opposite way and that's all we'll see in the future um i don't oh, think God. that's going to happen but yeah i somehow doubt that that will be always see i don't know if it'll completely go away yeah i'm sure there's still going to be people trying to create that sort of thing trying to get back into what they once had and i yeah. don't know how successful they'll be at that they may give up on it quickly but it, it's, it's hard to say you can't predict the future very well yeah. um it's just going to be it's going to be a little different mm-hmm. so i think We'll see how it brings. You know, yeah, we're like a lot of things. This this decade has brought um, a lot of changes, not just to the music industry, just like overall in the entertainment industry, like movies and TV shows and, and everything. Welcome to the future. So we live in the future. Too. We're, we're at, a, at, the, <laughs> at the point we are right now. It's it's we're in the transition phase. Yeah. You know, nothing is for certain. Nothing. You know, the the old way has been around for 50 years and now it's just starting to change we're just starting to see the changes happen so right now we don't know what's going to happen we can only make predictions and maybe they're right maybe they're wrong but let us know what you guys think in the comments do you think the record industry is going to be around for another four years do you think it's going to bottom out even sooner uh let us know in the comments Uh, Be sure to subscribe so you know when we post new videos. And you can check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, Follow John on Twitter, at Funky Dutch. And you can visit our website, polyphonicbreast.com. All those links are in the description. And that's about it. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. Take it easy.